the Royal College of Nursing has been calling for more security in hospital accident and emergency departments because of physical and verbal attacks on staff. The college says it's forcing some staff to leave rather than face violence. Well, Dr. Cliff Reed from the General's A&E Department has personal experience of such attacks. My goodness, this is awful, isn't it? I mean, there you are trying to look after people and be nice to them, and what happens? They lash out. Does it happen all the time? It happens very often. It's a very real problem facing us in A&E departments, and it's probably getting increasingly common too. The problem is there's a tendency to, for it to be viewed as a kind of occupational hazard. And some people even think it's kind of acceptable to behave aggressively in A&E departments, but of course it's not. Is this on, is it particularly on Friday and Saturday nights, a pub Those time? Those would be the commonest times, but of course um, illness, a lack of oxygen, drugs could cause someone um, to become aggressive. It's not just because people are bad, sometimes it's due to illness. But there is a section of the population that would, are going to be aggressive anyway. They're going to be aggressive under any circumstances with any people, I suppose. Yes, we do tend to get some troublemakers in A&E, but there's an incre right. increasing tendency for us to prosecute them. What sort of things have happened to you? Uh, well, I've been um, attacked uh, on a couple of occasions. Uh, I've had people trying to hit me. Uh, I know many people who have been in similar situations too. This is when you've been bending over them, presumably, trying to look at what, they're in, what injuries they might have and sort of straighten them out. What that, happens? They suddenly right. lash out at you? Um, yes, I've had people trying to hit me, um, trying to... Uh, you know, get aggressive. Often alcohol is involved. Now, you're um, capable of taking care of yourself. I happen to know you're a, a black belt in yes. some, uh, some sort of self-defense. Karate, is it? Uh, it's Kung Fu, but I'm, I'm a self-defense instructor with uh, something called the British Combat Association. So the chances are you know how to look after yourself. I do, yes, but um, obviously there's a, quite a lot of people out there who are still a lot tougher than me, and to be drawn into a physical altercation with a patient is an absolute last resort. I've seen is it something that all people working in your sort of area, in A&E, should prepare themselves for? Do you think there should be more self-defense training? I think there should, but um, I've seen people that can't outpunch a hamster deal with uh, really, really aggressive people very, very effectively, just with, with verbal dissuasion. Just by sheer sort of Being friendly, being helpful. I think there's a lot more to be learned from dealing with it using psychological right. tactics than physical ones, obviously. Right, okay. Well, let's hope uh, a little less violence occurs in the future, and uh, let's hope... Uh, Nurses and doctors get a little bit more instruction in the area. Cliff Reed, thank you very much. Thank you. Tomorrow in our Lifesaver series, we'll be looking at resuscitation techniques if someone stops breathing. And on a much less serious note, we'll be checking for an allergy to chocolate in the chocolate shop here at the hospital. Probably me trying out a lot of chocolates. Can't wait. I can always die at the weekend. Anyway, we'll be back at the usual time tomorrow, 11.35 from the general. Till then, goodbye. Stand by for an amazing act with bagpipes from actress Julia McKenzie. The